All right, hey team, welcome to our Wednesday night call. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, now that we've kind of gone back to bi-weekly calls for the time being, but I'm super excited to see you guys. You will see some faces tonight that you're like, wait, who's that? They are on Danielle's team, so they're basically on our team because we're basically one giant family. Um, so last night I hosted a call for Danielle and we invited all of y'all and then vice versa. Um, but before that gets started, some really, really quick announcements. Um, I posted in the team page, they discounted, which they should do permanently, um, daily sunshine down to $100 until Labor Day. I'm getting a bag because little miss is going to start drinking it here soon because she likes to drink, steal my Shakeology, and it's a nice extra healthy snack. So if you've been wanting to try daily sunshine, snag it at $99. You still get your 90 PV. Um, great way to promote to other mamas out there as well with kiddo. So that is on that. The promo for 2B is still going. The promo for Lyft is still going. Um, I think that's all that's going on. There's some event happening this Saturday. It's in your coach online office. Something about working out at 818, doing two workouts. I don't know. I know. I'm super awesome offline that I really don't know what's happening, but I don't. Um, I still have spots open for the team retreat. I did a post about that. So if you want to go message me, let's chat. I'm trying to get that finalized. Um, if you're one of my PS coaches, I sent an email. It's probably in your spam or in your junk. And if you're in the team page, you're like, I really want to know what this email is all about because Ashley's talked about it. I'll be announcing it in the next like upcoming week. All right. So that's all we're going to do about that. And if you don't have it to me by nine, I'll extend it till tomorrow. Okay, y'all. But don't wait. All right. So Danielle is hosting the call, you know, and I didn't even ask for credentials. Uh, she's awesome. And that just basically sums it up. She's got a lot of energy. She loves rhinos. She's a dog mom to two very chaotic dogs. Like when people are like, oh, dog moms have it easy. No, you have not met her dogs. They are the most chaotic dogs I've ever met. And I haven't even met them. Um, she, you know what, Danielle, can I just pass it off to you? Yes, she's awesome. please. She's awesome. That's all you need to know. Her and I teamed up a while back. We both live in Columbus, although we only see each other like twice a year because we live on opposite sides of the city. Um, and she's an amazing business partner. She's become an awesome friend of mine and whatnot. So I'm going to hand it over to her. She can tell you all of that fun credentials. And then she's just going to kick it off. So make sure you guys have pen and paper and notes to take. Yeah. All right, Danielle, take it away. I got you, sister. Um, and by the way, speaking of my dogs, Ashley, before I forget, did you watch my stories today? Okay. If you are like, really, how crazy can they really be? You should go watch my stories because I'm starting to be more real, raw, and honest about my dogs and they're out of control. So um, anyways, I don't need credentials because that's not what drives me and excites me. So I'm going to leave that part off. Uh, so what you need to know is when I first started as a coach, I was the worst person to invite to be a coach. And by that, I mean, I was the person who someone probably would have said, ah, uh, she already has a career. She has a master's degree. She probably doesn't really have time to do this business. And so I was like that person that most of us use the excuse of saying, you know, they just don't have time. We already decide for other people what they have time for and what they don't have time for. Um, so I started my business um, in 2012. I was 50 pounds overweight. I had just graduated with my degree and I just started working uh, full time at the Ohio State University. And, uh, but I was desperate for a change. And so I started my business for, I wanted the discount only. I had no interest in working this freaking business. It was not for me. Um, it wasn't for someone like me. I hated sales. I was against business. I was against making a whole lot of money. And so that was me. I was the perfect idea of a coach. And so, but I got started on my journey. And once I tried Shakeology for the first time, I was like, hot dang, everyone needs this in their life. Uh, once I started losing weight, I just started feeling great and sharing it with everyone. Uh, I was still working full time. And then I took on actually teaching group fitness classes in the evening as well, in addition to coaching. Um, and so something I'm very passionate about is time, uh, because it's something that no one Everyone wants to complain about, but no one wants to figure out how to get more of it. And so I think we all get to do a better job at doing that. Now, I was going to come to you and bring like this PowerPoint slideshow and be like, here's a, how to, you know, save five minutes every day. And then I was like, no, that's really stupid. 
Um, I'm going to just share my heart and share my honest opinions about time and get real raw and honest about that. Give you some quick tips and tricks of how to solve some of those time things. Um, and then we're just going to roll and then I'll answer any questions that you have about anything that has to do with anything. We can talk Britney Spears, dogs, business, whatever you name it. I'm an open book. So, um, here's the thing. First and foremost, let me ask you this. Have you ever said, I don't have time to work this business or I need more time in order to be more successful? Anyone ever? Yes. Okay. Um, and if you just said you didn't, you're probably lying, whatever. Okay. But most of us, right. We're like, Oh my God, if I had like three more hours, I could totally be the next top coach. If I had like even just five more minutes, I could at least take success club. No girlfriend. Here's what you need to do. You need to write it down and say, if I don't have time, if I've ever said, I don't have time, the next thing that needs to come out of your mouth is to say, what am I going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? Because you don't need more time. You don't need more time in this business. You need to take control of the time that you have. And we're going to, we can talk about that, but you need to realize that you don't need more time for this business. You need a more conscious decision of what you're going to do different in order to control your time to grow a successful business. Okay. So next time you say, I don't have time. Instead of what you're going to do, you're going to write a list. Here's what I mean. Honest God's truth. This is what I do. Every morning I wake up and it's a typical thing in my head. I say, I'm struggling. <laughs> like, like, I don't know why. It's just like the first thing that I think like, man, I'm struggling to get out of bed. I'm struggling to do whatever. Like I'm just struggling. My body's sore. And so the first thing that I do is I write on the left hand side, all of my excuses. I don't have time. I'm struggling. I don't have this. I don't have that. I need more of this. And then what I do is I make a separate list on the other side. And that is my, what am I going to do about it list? So if I don't have time, on the other side, I say, but I do have 10 minutes. So what am I doing with that 10 minutes? You know, if I don't have money, well, I do have clothes in my closet that I can sell. If I don't like my body is sore, what can I do about it? I can take a bubble bath with some, you know, whatever you get it. Like you have to be, you have got to stop making excuses and take your time that you're making excuses and find the solutions to your problems. You have to be a solution problem solver for yourself rather than always trying to do it for everyone else. So time is a choice, right? Like we always tell people, right? Everything is a choice. You have a choice in life. You get to decide today that tomorrow is going to be different. You have the choice to work your business or not. So the time that you have, every single second is a choice. And I'm going to give you some examples at the end of how you can really work this business in the most amount of time. The reason why I know that you don't need more time is because of the fact that I did work a full-time job where I was sitting in an office and then I went and I taught my classes and I came home and I had to work my business. I didn't have to. I made the choice to. Then I quit my full-time job a couple of years ago when I made the income that I was looking for through Beachbody and I left to do Beachbody full-time. And I can tell you from personal experience, I do not need these full eight hours to do the same thing I was doing with a full-time job. So your full-time job, if, the, if you're a full-time employee, like you can't use that excuse because there are days when I'm like, dang, if I just went back to working full-time, I could still rock this business just as well. So I would say that you have a great opportunity right now to grow a massive business because people can relate to you. You know how, what people think when they see someone who works this business full time? They're like, oh, that must be nice for you. Like you have, you have all the time in the world. Like my life is crazy, but you get to relate to people on a different level and say, if I can do this, you can do this too. So you have to use your story. We always tell people, right? That you have to use your, your health and weight loss journey or your fitness journey to inspire other people. It's the same with your business. You have to show up every single day and show people what you can do with small pockets of time. You got kids you're taking to school. You show how on, like while you're waiting in line, you can send a quick message. You share how at night you might say up an extra 30 minutes to work your business. You're going to inspire people to show them that if you're busy and doing this, they can do this too. Um, so here's the deal. Hold on. Wait, I made a couple of notes. Excuses right? I want you to think of the excuses that other people give you, right? When you send out invites, if you invite 20 people today, do they all say yes? I mean, if they do, please send them my way because <laughs> most people say no, right? We always say go for no. So if people are saying no, usually it's they have the excuse, right? They don't have time and they don't have money. So 
Don't you get irritated getting those excuses? Don't you hate when people say, I don't have the time or I don't have the money because you're like, I, I want to hit success club. I want to help more people. You get irritated and yet you're the person giving the same exact excuses to your sponsor or to yourself as to why you can't grow a successful business. You don't have the time, you don't have the money to invest in personal development or whatever it may be. So if you don't like giving, getting the excuses, then you have to stop giving them. And you have to find the solutions. And by you finding solutions, you're finding solutions for other people, right? My, one of my, the quotes that I always think of is when people, what's a quote where it's like, um, you know, there's someone busier than you out there running or something like that. Now, listen, I do not run. I am not a runner. I have my friend Nellie, you know, and Ashley, they're all like, yay, run a half marathon. It's like, really, you guys? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I couldn't make it past a mile, but whatever. So I'm not a runner, but I always think of that quote. And it's, it's so true. There's someone out there that's busier than you that has more things in life going on than you. Like life is rough. What if my, like if my house would have burnt down or something crazy would have happened in my life when I worked my full-time job, they wouldn't have been like, Oh, no worries. It's no big deal. We understand you don't really have that much time. So just stay at home. Don't worry about it. No, I would have had to still show up to work. So you have to treat this business like a hobby. You have to love this business like a hobby, but you have to treat this business like a business. And so let's go ahead and jump in. So that's my little motivational, like, let's, let's, you know, like, let's take off the excuses. Let's act right now in complete abundance that I have all the time in the world. I have enough time to grow this business. That is something that I would repeat, right? We always say, whatever you say after I am is your reality. That becomes your reality. So if you're like, I'm busy. Yeah, you're going to be busy all the time. And that's like, that's your choice. But if you say, I am in control of my time, I am going to work my business for 10 minutes right now. You have, you are going to take control of your time. So again, no one has tons of time. Everyone is busy. You're no different than anyone else. Stop thinking you're special. Sorry, I'm being really mean. I don't mean this in a mean way. I'm talking to myself if I'm being honest. When I make social media posts, that's what I do. I tell, I talk to myself like, you know, get out of your own way. Um, so here's the deal. When I was working my full-time job. So if you are someone who is in a full-time job now and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get out of this. I, I really want to stop there and, and encourage you again to use your story because when I was working my full-time job, if you've never listened to Jim Rohn, um, how to build a network marketing business, you need to. I listened to that on repeat over and over and over again because he talks about how he used his story of working a full-time job and how he, he used that to talk about how he would start out earning his full-time job and then how he doubled his income from his part-time little side business with his full-time job and then how he ended up, you know, outperforming his job so much that he ended up quitting because it just didn't make sense to stay in his job. And, and that's a story that you get to share. And so for me, like I used to share again on a cool little PowerPoint I had here for you. I shared how, you know, in one year with my, my corporate job, I got a 1.6% raise because I was just that good. No, it's because everyone in government gets the same exact raise, no matter how good you work. Um, but the other side of that was at the same time I started sharing how in the same exact year, I gave myself 191% income increase from my Beachbody business. And I shared how the one where I got 1.9% was working 40 hours a week. The other one was working about 12 to 15 hours a week. And so again, that's just showing up. You know, we always talk about be proof that the products work. Are you proof that this coaching opportunity works? And are you sharing that this coaching opportunity works, right? And so that's just one way that I really like to share like the time part because the number one excuse that you're going to get from people when you ask them to be a coach, which we all should be, your goal should be two star diamond and, and above, right? So if that is your goal, you have to be inviting people to the coaching opportunity. And in that situation, most people are like, oh, I don't have time to add on another job. So you have to show up every day and show them how you do it that way. So again, love your business like a hobby, treat your business like a business. Um, so let's get down into some things. First, you have to set, be clear on your priorities and your goals. Number one, be very clear on your priorities. Is your priority TV? You know, here's one of my favorite things. If you're into finances, one of my favorite things to do is to go through my bank account. And I like to highlight things. And what your bank account tells you is what your priorities are. So my priorities used to be McDonald's <laughs> like 20 million times a day. So, and but I was saying that my, my health was my priority, but clearly it wasn't. 
because what you spend your money on is your priority. Also, what you spend your time on is your priority. So if you do a time audit on your life right now, what does it say your priority is? Is it scrolling Facebook? Is it TV? Is it coloring color books? Listen, I like to color. Um, and I love TV. And yes, I will tell you, one of my priorities is TV. I'm not lying about that. But one of my priorities is also my business. And so you have to be very clear about what your priority is in your life right now and make sure that the time aligns with that. Um, you need to say no to things and cut things out. You have to, look, I know a lot of people just want to be like, you can live the same exact life you lived before. Even if you want to hit, you know, you want to be an elite coach or you want to be a five-star diamond coach. No, girlfriend, you have to make sacrifices. This job, this isn't a get rich quick scheme. This isn't a, let's just show up for five minutes. And I'm going to be the most successful person in the world. This is, a, I'm going to hustle my butt off. I have goals. I have priorities and I have big dreams and visions for my life. And I have to make sacrifices in order to do that. So that might mean sacrificing 30 minutes of sleep. That might mean sacrificing one or two shows. Trust me, I had to cut back on my shows and that was a struggle. But you might have to cut back on your shows. You might have to cut back on reading those, you know, romantic novels that you love to read, right? In the short term. Because the long term payoff, when you can go on extravagant vacations for months at a time because you've worked so hard in order to get there, that's what you celebrate. But in the moment, I'm, there's no sugarcoating it. You have to make sacrifices if this is a priority to you. Now, if you're like, no, I really don't care if I hit Success Club. I don't really care if I ever hit Diamond. Then you don't need to worry about not, you know, making sacrifices. But if you're on this call, I have a feeling that you care about this business. And so you do need to make some sacrifices. And that's saying no to things, even if they're important. So personally, um, I teach group fitness classes and I am reevaluating to see if, you know, is it a priority? I have a big goal right now in this business. And so it might not be smart for me to keep teaching this class. It takes up a lot of time and a lot of energy. And I love what I do. I love teaching classes. But sometimes you have to make sacrifices in order to reach your priorities. Um, you need weekly and daily to-do list, right? I mean, that should sound like obvious. But do you show up every single day and know exactly what needs to get done? Um, and you need to never say, I don't have time ever again. So let's make and find time. So here's what I always did when I worked my full-time job is I made my schedule as it is without Beachbody, without coaching, what has to get done. So it took me an hour typically or an hour and a half to get to work. Um, I had to work. I got a 30 minute lunch break. I went back to work then I had about an hour and a half drive. And then I had to teach. I would get home. I scheduled my shower. I did all of that. So I wrote out my schedule as it is without Beachbody. So I'm telling you, you need to do this. Write out your schedule as it is without Beachbody. The things that have to get done. Not like, yay, I go and have two drinks after work. I'm talking about like how it is without Beachbody, that the things that have to be there. Then on the other side, um, I, liked, I wrote out where I could fit Beachbody in. So I started waking up 30 minutes earlier so I could get things done in the morning. I woke up 30 minutes earlier. I listened to my personal development in the car on my drives in the morning. In the evening on my drive home or on my drive to class, I would do coaching calls. Or if people were interested in the programs, listen you guys, I gotta just throw this out there. If you are not, in my opinion, if you are not getting on the phone with people interested in your products, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. When people, unless you're like the most boring person to talk to in the world, okay, then don't get on the phone. Just stick with your Facebook message. But if you are an exciting, like not even exciting, if you're just a nice human and you like to have conversations, then you need to get on the phone because when you get on the phone with someone, they hear your excitement and they become more excited. I just talked to a girl today, a woman today, and she was saying how, you know, we were talking and on Instagram. And she's like, I don't really know. I really just want to work out. I don't really, I don't really like that shake. I've tried stuff like that before, blah, blah, blah. Kept going on. So I'm like, you know what? Let's hop on a call. So we talked today and she's ready. Sign up with a challenge pack. She's like, sure, I'll try that shake again. Cause I told her how I made it. Right. And so we had this conversation and she felt my energy and I felt her energy and we just connected. And so I start, I would do my calls like that in my new coach calls and all of my mentorship calls, I would do those in the evenings on my drives home because you, on my drive home, 
You have to be work smarter, not harder, right? So utilizing every second of the day. Uh, my lunch break, I started taking a lunch break and I used that time to do work. And then at night, I spent an extra hour. I stayed up an hour later to work my business. And so again, what is that? I added like an extra hour and a half of working my business by simply not changing anything, but just realizing where I could fit this in. So you need to not worry about not having, everyone has 24 hours, right? But you just have to find your time. You found time to be on this call tonight. This call is about 30 minutes long, right? You found 30 minutes. You can find 30 minutes every single day. 80% um, of your results are based on 20% of your actions. 80% of your results are based on 20% of your actions. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going to go over the four vital behaviors because I'm pretty sure Ashley like drills those into your head. Um, but right. Those are the things that you're doing every single day. And I can tell you when you have more time, I'm just going to be real. When you have more time, you sit around and you're like, Hey, let's play on social media. Let's do this. Let's do that. When I worked a full-time job, I had 10 minutes to hurry up and send three invites. You know what I did? I hurried up and I sent three invites. Now you got eight hours. It's like, Oh, I'll send this later. I'll do this. And it's very, it's, it's more challenging for me to be very disciplined with those things. And so again, I just think that if you are working a full-time job or you are busy, then you have a great advantage over people who have more time, my opinion. Um, so weekly goals and power hours. Again, you need to write those down make a brain dump list of everything you need to get done and then make those to-do lists. I would encourage you to set 10 goals every week of things outside of your vital behaviors that you really want to make sure you get done. Like one thing for me was decorating my wall with my coaches. And so that was on my goal list. Um, so anything outside of your normal stuff, or if you want to make sure that you send five thank you notes to your customers, or you want to make sure that you send, you know, happy birthday cards, or you want to make sure that you, you know, whatever it is, or you want to update your bio on Instagram, you want to whatever, right? You get it. Like the extra things that you would love to get done this week that you could fit in after your vital behaviors every day. That way you have something else to work on once you get those done. So your power hours. I hated this term so much because I didn't have time to sit down for a whole hour. All right. Like that just wasn't realistic. So for me, I use little pockets of time, but when I did have my power hour time, usually it was at night, right before I would go to bed, I had a system. So something to get me in the zone. So right now my current jam is champion. Thank you, Nellie champion by Carrie Underwood. Like you ever see a girl like just blaring it out. Like I scream it out and I cry and I get all into it. Um, that's my jam. I'm like, yes, I'm the freaking champion. I can do this. Um, maybe I should put that on a story soon. Cause it like gets, it like gets legit guys. I'm not kidding. Like I'm like, whew. but that's why I always, that, okay. Side note. That's why I love Britney Spears. Cause she always gave me hope that I could be famous because she couldn't sing, but she could dance. So I can dance. I can't sing, but whatever. Okay. So I say find your, I call it my girl power song. Find your power song that just gets you in the zone. And then you write out your, your goals for your next year or for the week, whatever you really want to focus on, like your big vision goal. If it's elite, if it's diamond, if it's two star, if it's premier, whatever it is, write out that goal. So you're continuously writing it every single day. And then you get into it, right? You get into your vital behaviors, your extra stuff, all of that. So that's kind of how I organized my power hour was just trying to get myself in the zone and excited to do that. Now, side note, like I said, majority of the time I did not do a power hour. I was not sitting at my desk. I was going to the bathroom. Don't judge me. But my invites, if you get a message from me, more than likely it's when I'm going to the bathroom or it's when I am, you know, cooking, which doesn't happen often, but, or it's when I'm, you know, out. If Pierre's driving, I'm on my phone, you know, I'm just messaging. So it was in those little times where I knew that those things had to get done by the end of the night. And I would challenge myself to send so many, like before my work started or at my lunch break or, you know, before I would fall asleep. Like it was just those small little challenges that I would give myself. So if you are struggling to sit down for a power hour, don't stress about that. Don't let that hold you back. Don't think, oh, I have to wait till I have time. No, you have time. You have a minute. You can send a message. You're welcome. All right. Daily extras. So 
daily extras are, are things that I like to do on certain days of the week just so my brain can function and it makes sure I get these things done. So like I said, you know, thank you notes are really a big thing for me, like putting goodness out into the world, just simple little love letters. So I'm like, I wrote down here, I used to do when I worked, I would do Mondays, I would send two thank you notes and I would check in with two downline coaches on my left leg, right? So I got very specific about who I was reaching out to, what I was doing. You know, on Tuesdays, for example, I might message two clients from, you know, last month. And then I might comment on a leader's, you know, Facebook profile, right? So it's just those little things that I want to make sure that I'm constantly doing that will take like two seconds of my day, but I can organize it to where I know Mondays I do these extra things, Tuesdays I do these, Wednesday I do these, um, and it just helps organize my brain around this. And I feel like I'm just throwing a whole bunch of stuff at you and it sounds like I'm super unorganized, but it makes sense in my brain. So I hope that helps a little bit. Okay. So decide what you want, write it down, make a plan, and work on it every single day no matter what. So let's get real, real quick before we wrap this up. You are overcomplicating this business. And I know that because I do it. <laughs> I overcomplicate the heck out of this business. And Ashley is the one who's always like, Oh my God, why does everyone overcomplicate this? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, it's me, so me. Um, so you're not alone if you're overcomplicating this, but let's just like slap each other across the face and be like, just focus on the basics, right? So again, here's my list that I would show you, but I'm gonna just read it to you. Could you send one message while going to the bathroom? Could you listen to personal development while cleaning? Could you add one new friend while going to the bathroom another time? Unless you just go to the bathroom once a day, but then that, then you have a problem, you should go to your doctor. Um, could you send three voice messages while driving to invite people to your challenge group? Could you listen to personal development while showering? And yes, I do that. Um, could you message someone while your water is getting hot for a shower? Could you focus for 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night? Could you work for 10 minutes six times a day? Right? So that power hour, could you break it up into 10 minutes throughout your day? If you want something bad enough, you'll find a way. And if not, you'll find an excuse, right? So a couple of quick tips too: plan your social media on the weekends. You ain't got time during the week. That's not an excuse. You have a weekend, take a day, take two hours, take your pictures, make your post, write it all out, have it in a place. You can copy and paste it for during the week when you're ready for it. If you have typical questions that people ask you, what's in Shakeology? How much does it cost? Right? All those things. Make a video that you can just send to people or have a video or a message, an audio that you can send to people. That way you're not recreating a wheel every single time or a copy paste message that you can send for that. Um, have your challenge group plan scheduled and do not recreate the wheel. It's already there. We have all the trainings we need. We don't need anything else. Stop trying to do it all yourself just freaking do what works. So here's your call to action. I want you to set your hustle time, hustle times, um, for each day this week, over the next week, what days of times are you going to work? Even if you break it into 10 minutes, what days of the times, what times of the day are you going to be working your business? Write out your power hour activities during your, if you're working 30 minutes or an hour, what are you going to get done in those minutes? Um, and break it down, this five minutes, this 10 minutes. I encourage you to use an, a timer on your phone, yeah? Like, time yourself. Don't let yourself take longer than you need to. Get it done. Um, and then what I encourage you to do is take what you're gonna write down, and you're going to share that in your team page. You're gonna share that in your team page. That's accountability, that's support to say, listen guys, I, you know, I'm not making this as an excuse anymore. Here's when I'm going to work my business. Call me out if you, you know, if I'm not working, because you guys listen, I'm here to tell you, if you're not hitting success club, if you're not rank advancing, it's all because you're not doing the work. <laughs> it's as plain as that. It's, it's that simple. If you show up every day, you do the work, you will see the results. It is a numbers game. Again, listen to Jim Rohn, he talks about that. And finally, to wrap it all up, the most important thing to remember is that your reason for doing this has to be bigger than your excuse that you don't have time. If you, you know, if you had the worst case scenario in your life, and I don't wish this on anyone, but if your kid got super sick and they needed, you know, some sort of miracle, but you had to work your business to make a million dollars to make it happen, would you show up? If you're something happened and you knew that you had to make this business work no matter what, like it had to work, 
You would lose sleep in order to make it happen. It's all about what you want more than your excuses. And so right, figure out what that is. For me in the beginning, it was simply paying off my student loans. It wasn't this big crazy thing of trying to save someone's life or leaving my job or anything like that. I wanted to just simply pay off my student loans. And then it grew from there into wanting to leave my full-time job, wanting to empower women, wanting to you know, contribute more financially to organiza organizations that I cared about. And now it's so much bigger than that. I lost my grandma this year. And because of her, I'm like, I just think about all the things that I want every single woman to see and do in their lifetime. And I want my coaches to know that they are capable and they are able to do big, crazy, amazing things. And so for me now, that is my reason for showing up. That's my reason for making sacrifices. So you have to find your reason so that way you no longer say, I don't have time. That's all I got, Ashley. Couple quick things. Just because Danielle gave you a call to action does not mean you do not post this in the team page. So if you did not pay attention to the call to action, ask a friend because one, Danielle is in our team page and two, I will be putting up a post asking for your call to action. Two, I'm going to touch base with real quick. Danielle said it perfectly. I sometimes miss working full time because I got done more in my business than I do do now that I do this full time. Does that make sense? Sometimes a lot of you guys think, oh, she has all this time in the world, so I bet she gets so much time, so many things done, but really I tend to overanalyze some things as well. And I'm like, oh, I have eight hours in the day or I have all 24 hours, I'll get to it later. Whereas when I had to work my business on part-time hours, I knew I had to get it done then. And then the last thing I'm gonna touch base on, then I'll open it up for questions, is I want something else, Danielle I'll give you guys a bunch of analogies. Like if you had something horrible happen, if you lost your job tomorrow, if you lost your sole income tomorrow, think this is your only plan after that. So when I, that probably didn't make sense, but let's try that again. When I was working full time, I knew that if at a moment's notice I was let go, I had beach body because I had worked so hard to knowing that I would still have a paycheck coming in that week, even if I lost my job. So keep that in the back of your mind when you want to give up, when you're like, I don't have time, keep in the back of your mind. If something ever happened to your job, what would you do? You'd have beach body if you put in the time and the work. Yes. Come check. No, I love me some Danielle. I love me. And she went rogue. And that's cool because I went rogue. I made her people cry. I expected tears tonight. Oh, man. Does anybody have any questions for Danielle? And don't be like, oh, I'm going to tag her in our team later because then I'm going to ask. No, no. Because I'll tell her don't answer that question because you should have asked while you were on the team call. Hey, I'm just saying. Some of you guys get way too scared to talk for whatever reason. So if you want to ask a question, now is the time. I don't have a question, but I just want to reiterate for the third time, because I'm in this right now, I am working full time, but my job has so much downtime right now that it's driving me nuts. And I wish that I, like, I am so much more productive on the days when I'm busy at work because I, you have to work. Like I finally, the other day, I think it actually had a call to action or said, the post ended up blowing up where everyone was saying what they were struggling with at the moment. And I was like, I'm struggling with the freaking morning. So I said every morning from eight to 9 AM, I'm doing my invites from that time because I can sit there and dilly dally all freaking day. And then I'm like, Oh, I have to leave in 20 minutes. Shit. And then whatever. So if you're busy, embrace it and use it to your full advantage and getting things done fast, 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 fast. And it's true. I think people think, oh, once you do this full time, you have all the time in the world. Most of the time, I'm still working my business on part time hours. I'm not putting eight hours a day into my business. Most days, I'm doing one to two hours on most days. This business does not need eight hours a day to grow your business. You need 60 minutes a day. 60 minutes. That's all you need. Danielle, can you say the call to action again, real quick for me? I sure can. Um, set your hustle times for each day this week. And because, I mean, if your days are the same, then obviously it would be the same every day. But for some people, it varies. Um, and then write your power hour activities for each of your hustle times. 
So what are you going to do in that time frame for each day? And then uh, post that in the team page. And then my final point for that, which I didn't say before, is review and revise as needed. Because I think a lot of people think, oh my gosh, this system didn't work. Oh my gosh, I can't work this business. No, it, it doesn't mean that you change your goal. You change your actions to get to your goal. And sometimes that means adjusting your schedule. And you also need to be tracking your business, guys. Because if you come to me and you're like, I worked an hour every day, but nothing happened this week. And I ask you, well, where did you work that hour? And you're like, well, I don't know. You need to track your business and you need to find out where you're managing your time. Because sometimes we're like, oh, I scrolled social media for an hour. Oh, power hour is over. And you didn't do a single thing. So track what you're doing with your time. And you'll come to find out that you're probably not really doing the things that you should be doing that you need to build an effective business. Does anybody have any questions for Danielle? Sorry, I keep putting my own two cents in. No, you're good. Uh, the Jim Rohn, that, um, it's not a book or a podcast. I think you can now find it on YouTube. Honestly, I think it's free, but you can also order, well, they probably have audio now. I have a CD, but I no longer have a CD player. But anyways, it came on a CD. So it's just an audio thing. It's called, um, how, I, I think it's how to build your network marketing business. So just Google it. I didn't mean that in a mean way. That's just what I would do. <laughs> Google everything. <laughs> Google is the BFF to life. Last, last chance. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody? Anybody at all? No? Okay. Well, first off, Danielle, thank you for taking time out of your night. She is missing Big Brother, and she is a huge Big Brother fan. So that is amazing. So kudos to her. Um, but I appreciate you dropping your knowledge and coming and sharing all of your good stuff with us. Um, sometimes we need to hear from other people. Sometimes we do. Sometimes it helps. Something may have clicked tonight. Something may be like, oh, I needed to hear that. Like, this is what I need to do. If you had that aha or if you had that whoa moment, share it in the team page. Let other people inspire you. Two. If you took a picture of this call, make sure to tag Danielle. I'm working on her with her stories. So make sure to tag Danielle in your stories so she can repost it on her stories. And three, if you did not watch my live video in the team page today, please go watch it. It's basically what I talked on about Danielle's call last night. Um, so go watch it. It's a good like 14 minutes. I apologize. Um, but with that being said, we were just talking about it, Alicia. I know. It's like Danielle knew that she had to say that to you. It's like she knew it. With that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing night, Danielle. Thank you again so much for hopping on our call. And I will see you guys in two weeks for our next team call. Don't forget, we have a new coach call next week. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you.